Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new Big Cherry Retro React here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. Welcome to my shit show. So guys, for today's episode, it's probably going to be maybe a bit of a quicker one uh, compared to the ones we have been doing recently. It's late and I'm all tucked into bed with goo and I just want to get this cranked out so that I don't have to film it tomorrow morning. So yeah, thank you to everyone that stopped into our live stream that we had uh, this evening. It was really dope. Um, I'm going to try to get a highlights out for you. But the app that I use to, like, download the videos is acting up right now. So we'll check again in the morning. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Thank you again for stopping on in. Like and subscribe, all that, blah, blah, blah. For today, we're going to be taking a look at Talking with Amber Lynn. It's just her sitting there for 10 minutes talking at us. Fucking great. Um, and then just a short random little video. And then a life with Amberlynn. That one is like 14 minutes long, but hopefully it's just going to be like filler shit that I can go through. But who knows? Who knows? Um, but yeah. Anyways, guys, let's just dive right on in, shall we? Hello, everybody. So hey, Amber. I just kind of wanted to jibber jabber with you. Oh, wonderful. Guys, a bit. Um, I'm going to tell you guys now that i am very indecisive i have always been a very indecisive person i change girl we know my mind oh we know a lot um even my girlfriend knows this like literally just to choose a pair of earrings could take me like 20 minutes like that would piss me right the fuck off that would piss me off i would leave someone honestly i would just leave <laughs> i don't know why that's just how i've been so of course i'm gonna be that way in other you know aspects of my life um i'm like that well maybe you should fucking work on that girl with a lot of things it took me a very long time just to decide if i wanted to do youtube um it took oh girl please me actually over a year to decide if I wanted to make YouTube videos and be a part of the community and <laughs> okay I fell in love with the community so much and just you see how hard she's looking off to the side that means it's not true the thought of YouTube that I could no longer you know keep leaning from yeah I should do it no I shouldn't do it I just went for it and every minute I have enjoyed it oh yeah I bet she regrets it now to some degree. So much. And I am, I'm very happy that I am now part of the YouTube community. Community. I meant to say community. I'm sure you guys knew that. But. Oh my God. And I just want to say thank you guys for, you know, sticking with me, going back and forth between everything that I do. And I'm, I'm, I'm such a brutally honest person <laughs> sure girl sure you're brutally honest with everyone but yourself i i feel like and even then like you're not even really brutally honest you're just a bitch <laughs> there's a difference there is a huge difference i'm one of those people especially in the weight loss community i am i tend to be very personal and here's another video another what the fuck another video so another why i mentioned the fact that i'm a very indecisive person is because let me guess you quit something again <laughs> you guys i just made a whole video yesterday about how i'm not gonna try weighing myself oh my god <laughs> so she weighed herself again Okay, good job, girl. Good job. Yeah, that mental disorder is really disordering, huh? Until I get a new scale, and I'm gonna save money to get a new scale. But I, I talked to um, my girlfriend's dad a little bit, and he- Oh, let me guess. You got him to pay for it. Kind of opened my eyes a little more to the fact that the scale that we have now, 
you know, might be okay. So what he did was, even though I didn't think it was the battery, he put in new batteries for me while I was asleep because he knows how- Girl, you couldn't be fucking bothered to try that shit? Jesus Christ. Much this weight loss means to me, and he loves to hear when I'm down weight. I yeah, I bet, dude. He probably just wanted you to stop your bitching. Oh my God. I can only imagine how much of a fucking headache this girl is to have around. Appreciate him more than you guys even understand. He literally is like- I think it's more than you even understand or less than, honestly. Like, she doesn't appreciate anyone. A dad to me, and I just- Yeah, yeah okay. So that would make Crystal your sister, right? Yeah, we knew you were probably into that. I appreciate him so much. So he went out of his way. He went to the store, um, bought batteries and edamame because I've been wanting such a thing, okay? Oh my god. But he bought batteries and, um... So she was even sending her uh, girlfriend's parents out to fetch things at night, dude. Oh my god. Could you imagine working all day, every day of the week, and then having to come home to someone like Amber Lynn? Jesus Christ. So I weighed myself, and each time I stepped on, it said the same weight. Uh, not only was it the batteries, I also tried stepping on it a different way. I don't think this is the case. Um... Us heavier girls and men understand that we have big thighs and our feet don't really touch. So I tried to make them a little, you know, my feet go a little more closer in the middle of the scale and that helped. So I got... You know, Girl, what? You no. Know, a reading. And, um, I, I'm... I'm actually thoroughly happy that I don't have to, you know, buy a really expensive scale and I'm not going to tell you guys my weight because <laughs> Cause she went up. Because I told you weigh in Wednesdays. I promised you guys weigh in Wednesdays. Oh girl, so she's so indecisive, but this is the one thing. The one thing that she's gonna stick to. Okay, girl. It's probably because she gained some weight and she thinks she's gonna lose it. I only weighed myself today to see if the scale worked, and it does, so I will be doing a weigh-in on Wednesday. Um, of course, I don't know what day it is when she filmed this, so. So, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know about the whole scale situation, um, and I have seen you guys leave me comments. I've had people message me and stuff like that, and you guys give me great advice when it comes to the scale. And I don't know what you guys did, but you guys helped me. I feel like I don't... She needed all their fucking help just to be like, maybe it's the batteries. And then it wasn't even her that was like, maybe it's the batteries. It was a fucking Crystal's dad. Need oh the scale my God. as much as I thought I did. It's, it's actually quite strange because if you... You are quite strange, girl. I will give you that. You're not weird, but you're fucking strange, dude. Like... It's beyond, it's not quirkiness. It really isn't because it isn't like a adorable, cute kind of weirdness. It's just you're fucking can't even begin to comprehend how your brain works. You guys knew me. You guys know that I am like obsessed with that scale when I am losing weight, but. Yeah, and that doesn't seem like a bad thing for her. Of course not. Just for myself, I feel so. Yeah, for yourself. So much better when I'm dieting and doing all this that... Yeah, it really seems it, dude. You seem so much happier. That's why you're constantly fucking complaining and irritable. You know, it makes me feel like maybe I don't need the scale every single day. Like, there's just no reason for it. And I'll... You're still going to do it anyways. On top of that, your guys is, you know, you guys tell me... Yeah, your energy tells you a lot more than the scale does. Your the inches on girl, your body, or how your clothes fit, and your happiness. And you know, I agree with you guys a hundred percent. So, I just want to thank you guys um, for the the people who you know talked to me about that and gave me advice and left me comments. And if I didn't reply to a comment, it's because I've been you know quite busy with, with what? Crystal and her parents. And Dude, with what? 
You fucking sit around playing goddamn board games all day and watching movies. Shut the hell up. Busy with what, bitch? Stuff like that. And um, I just want to say I appreciate that so much because I honestly always thought I'd be somebody who needed to weigh in every single day, who needed that number. But wow, I feel so much better knowing that I don't need that number like I used to. She's just so changed. And... She does it. She doesn't even not weigh herself once. And it's just like, you know, I, guys, I just, I don't need it. I just don't need it. I'm good to go. I have never seen someone so ignorant to their own thought process. It, it feels like freedom in a way. So I also wanted to talk to you guys about something else. Um, We're going to lay it on us, Biggie. When my girlfriend and I first started dieting two years ago, um... Jesus, dude, what a waste of two fucking years, huh? We had a thing called Fatter Days where, um... Yeah. <laughs> of course you did. We would eat whatever we wanted. <laughs> and it was supposed to be once a week. And it started turning into twice a week, three times a week, four times a week. And that's how we gained a lot of weight. Girl, y'all are literally, like... Christ, I could trust a goo around, like, an uncontrollable amount of food better than I could these girls. Jesus Christ. But we're in such, like, an amazing mind frame that we decided... Yeah, just right now, girl. Oh, my God. She's just like, well, this is permanent. I'm going to live the next 75 years of my life like this. To start doing it again, but differently. So what a fatter day is, is what- Girl, we can fucking put two and two together with your big ass. When you're dieting, you have, you know, one day a week, one day a month, one day a year. I don't know. <laughs> you have it to where you can eat whatever you want. She couldn't even do one day a week, dude. How much you want and all that stuff. And, um... Me and my girlfriend decided that once a week is not okay, twice a week, not okay, three times a week, not okay. We have decided once a month we will have a day where we can eat whatever we- Yeah, that's going to be sustainable. She's going to have the day be like today or tomorrow, and then in a couple days from now, she's going to be like, oh, I want another fatter day. <laughs> we wanted, and I think it's a brilliant idea. Yeah. Um, I know a lot. So fucking genius. Of people who do this. And. Amberlynn, you don't even know a lot of people, period. So, what do you mean? And, I mean, even like Jillian Michaels, Bob Harper, all these famous athletic, you know, people who are health freaks have days like this. But some people have it more often than others. And I feel like having it too much. Mm -mm. I'm not going to do it. So once a month, we decided yesterday was our um, fatter day for... Yeah, see, exactly. Exactly. So they probably came up with the idea to do it again yesterday. And then they were like, okay, so let's have it be today. Girl. The month of January. And we decided for February, it will be Valentine's Day. So it works out perfect. So perfect. yesterday, I went over my calories and she's, but the awesome thing she's so happy about it she's going to justify it let's hear this yes normally when i go over my calories i just don't even care about calories but i i still counted calories yesterday i went over by quite a few not gonna lie but i still tracked every single thing on my fitness pal so that is like an amazing like accomplishment all in itself but anyway girl <laughs> how oh my god she's so fucking delusional she will do anything for those self ass pats dude oh jesus christ she's so far gone she is so far gone she needs like the girl interrupted treatment so i just kind of wanted to tell you guys about that that uh once a month me and my girlfriend will be eating whatever we want because it's kind of you know nice to be able to do that girl you're not going to even make it a week but I must say there is a downfall in all of this. I am actually a victim of very bad gallstones. Um, two years. Not really a victim when you did it to yourself, girl. So, womp womp. Years ago, they were horrid. 
like horrid, horrid. Maybe you should drink some more water. I went to the hospital quite a few times. Um, On their dime? Oh, you fucking bitch. <laughs> so since for 18 days I did. And this was before like Medicare. Jesus Christ. So amazing. So obviously counting calories, <coughs> you know, I didn't have as much fat and stuff like that. But yesterday I had girl please. A lot. And I woke up today feeling like a freaking crap. You guys crap. I literally That's why it's never worth it, dude. It's never fucking worth it. Oh my god. Whenever I think about like, oh, it's late at night, I could really go for like a pizza or some ice cream. I just think about, oh, Jordan, but do you want to be woken up early in the morning with an upset stomach? No, you don't. Wanted to, like, cry. Like, my gallbladder was literally... I mean, I bet, girl. I bet it's fucking probably very painful. But these are all things that are avoidable as well. Killing me. I feel like that happening kind of makes me, um... <laughs> I know y'all wanted me to say something to that killing her uh, line. I'm not that petty. Only a little bit. Only want to do a fatter day once a month because I don't want to have to experience that pain. And sure, girl. Sure. In a way, that pain kind of proved how good we are doing because... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. This is boring the shit out of me. You guys remember that TV show? It was like one season. It's called Kid Nation or something like that. This has nothing to do with Amberlynn. I'm just bored and I thought about it. What a great TV show. A legality nightmare though. Like a thousand percent. That's why they did not have another season. You can't, you cannot logistically and uh, safely pull off Lord of the Flies. With all due respect, great concept, great outcome for the show. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> only one season. Go figure. Okay, with that being said, now we can jump back into whatever bullshit she's spewing. Because what we ate yesterday literally is what we'd eat every single day. So the fact that it... That's so fucked. <laughs> that is so fucked. ...affected me shows the changes that I've made, if that makes sense. That was like... Awesome. No, girl, because you probably felt the same way even then eating it. True talk. You're just only now, like, noticing it or pointing it out because back then, well, you were fine with it. And now you're in a phase where, oh, no, I'm going to get better, you guys. But it all comes back around. <sighs> anyway, you guys, I'm going to end this video. Um, thank you guys so much for listening to another video of me rambling. I thoroughly enjoy talking to you guys, honestly. I, I do. I Honestly. Really, really do. So, <laughs> I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. If not, another day. Da you ain't... You're literally just looking at yourself. Oh, my God. Da -da -da -da. Anyways, if you aren't smiling, smile. Bye. Good Lord. Thank God that's over. All right, let's do this one. It's only like a minute and a half. Hi, everybody. So, the other day, I posted a video letting you guys know that I am going to be filming a Q&A video, which is a question and answers video, which means you guys can ask me anything you want if you've never gotten the chance to before. I would already, honestly, at this point that we're at, I would already have so many shady questions for her. Like, why do you treat the dog that way? Why do you treat the cats that way? Why do you treat Crystal that way? Why do you treat her parents that way? Like, dude. There's just already so many like red flags that have popped up in the few short weeks that we've been reacting to these uh, Crystal Era videos. Because we're only like a couple months, maybe two or three months into her channel and we've already gotten enough examples. <laughs> And I will answer it in an upcoming video. And now this video is just reminding you guys that that video is still up. So I am going to link that video down below. You guys can- Wow, this is incredible. I don't care. Click the link and in the comments, ask me whatever you want. And if you already have, ask me something else. You guys can ask me more than one question. Oh, thank you, sire. You guys can ask me anything. Like, it doesn't have to be about weight loss. It doesn't have to be about... 
How about why did you make those comments about um, Billie Eilish, Miley Cyrus? Why did you make those comments about Darlene from Roseanne? Why did you like there's just so much. There is so much. Oh, my God. So much. Of course, like the Darlene stuff hasn't happened yet. That was destiny era, but we will get to that. Don't you worry. She's just such a mess. Anything like that, but it can. It can be just anything, 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 and I will be- Oh, can it be anything, Amberlynn? I just want to check. Filming the answers within a couple of days, and I really enjoy making these videos. You guys can get to know me a little bit more, and if you guys are ever curious about anything about me, this is a great time to ask me because I do not skip any questions, even if they're rude or serious or personal. No matter what, I will answer every single question. So again, Good lord. I hope that hater dude fucking saw this one. I'm going to link that video down below. Click the link and then leave a comment down on that video. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. And please, please, please ask me questions. Ew. She's, she just looks so creepy. Alrighty, guys. This is our very last video. We can do this. It's like 14 minutes. I hope it's a lot I can just cut out. Today I am using Ew. head turner. Which is, huh, doesn't tell you. <laughs> oh, that's how you know, high quality. Woof. They don't even want to put their name on the fucking bottle. Flavor it is. Um, Flavor, yeah, good one. And I got that one at Walmart. It looks like, girl. And I'm using such a flirt, such a flirt, which is star fruit and white Ew. orchard. And I got that one. Did she say white orchid? Like orchid? Starfruit and white orchard. White orchard? Oh, she's dumb. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I got that one from Victoria's Secret. Target locked on. Oh Jesus, that would get so fucking annoying. Echo 5, I missed you, so I'm putting a white cord to get Echo 5. If he misses you, you don't have to. You don't have to do nothing. All right. Now it's your turn, point you in anything you want, and it's fire. Not gonna lie, I used to really love Battleship. One, you put a white thing up in there. But I just had like the old fashioned one, not this shit. Player one. Okay, come on, we don't need narrating of the toys, James. <laughs> See, so they were over her stupid bullshit too. Look at her being so helpful. Putting her fucking grubby hands all over the goddamn plates. Wow, Amber, so exciting. Showing off everyone else's work. Oh, with that cookbook that you a thousand percent should be cooking from, not making fucking Crystal's mom cook at all. Girl, bye. <laughs> oh, look at her. Miss Fance. Fancy girl. Girl, that's not even a good job. You would have been fired. Fired from the restaurant. She can't roll her silverware. Girl. What I always found to be the funniest thing is you could tell who smokes by how well their silverware was rolled. <laughs> Because everyone that, like, rolled their own shit. I mean, down here in Jersey, like, the New York area, pipes and stuff like that aren't really that big of a thing. It's more, like, roll rollables. So, <laughs> you can just tell who smokes by how tight their silverware was. Girl, please. As if you do that every night.
This is way more effort than she would ever put into anything nowadays. She's just gonna add the whole thing. I love how she just like makes the entire salad for the family how she would like it. You know, doesn't give them the options of picking and choosing anything. Hell, girl. No getting called down to dinner tonight. She's helping. Wow, good job, girl. Board game, board game, dinner, board game. Oh my god. Just had to show off the entire cabinet, okay. Ringo, what are you doing? <laughs> so today has been a really pleasant day. I just kind of, um, you know, I've been kind of busy cooking and playing games and stuff. So I haven't really been able to talk, but hey, yeah, so busy. Ew. <laughs> I hope you guys are so far having a good day, even though you're not really watching this right now. But anyways, I'm about to get it very late. Why is like, why is it so shaky? It's like she tried to use the shake stabilizer thing or motion stabilizer, but because the video isn't like within the parameters, it, you know, whatever. Workout in. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing now. So I'm sitting in a chair and this is my little workout station for right now. This is all I see. That's because my workout is from my computer and if And it's entirely sitting down. You guys watch more of my videos other than my vlogs, then you will see what that workout is because I will have uploaded it already. Oh wow, and fuck if she tries to re-explain it. Incredible girl. You guys, I'm like so freak. Oh my god. The fucking uh, guitar hero. Getting excited right now. It says it's supposed to snow like a lot tomorrow. So if it, oh my god. If it happens, I'm gonna be like the happiest person ever. No, it's not like you're gonna go outside and do anything with it. <laughs> Do a little dance. Make a little love. <laughs> Girl, that ain't gonna happen. Get down in that. Get down in that. You and your girlfriend both have like the mental age of eight year olds, so y'all don't know what fucking is yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Amber clearly does because she forced her ex to do it, so maybe she does that to Crystal too. Allegedly. Allegedly. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Yo, girl, really? <laughs> I want this to be over. Get down the night. Get down the night. Get down the night. Get down oh my the god, get Amber. Down the Come mat. on. Get down the mat. Get down the mat. Get down the mat. I'm literally just about to end the fucking video here, you guys. She's pissing me right the fuck off. Make a little love. <laughs> yeah, you're so funny.
Did that really just happen? So right now I'm just making some snack for my girlfriend and I. So before we no, just what you need eat our dinner because yesterday was our Saturday. I talked about that already. Yeah, so maybe you should slim back on the snacks. In a um what's it called? In one of my videos I already posted. <laughs> and um <laughs> that consisted of us eating whatever we wanted. So now, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit to get back into yeah, exactly. So, oh my god, girl. Uh, this is why you're never going to be successful. The swing of things. So, we decided that we will eat carrots, celery, and a tangerine before we eat our dinner. So, it doesn't feel like... We're starving to death because this will kind of oh yeah because i bet you're just oh so starving after that huge fucking multi-course meal that you had with her parents now you're just oh starving to death oh you poor thing fill us up and yeah so right now i'm downstairs waiting for my girlfriend to come downstairs because She's currently finishing her game on Rock Band, and I told her I'd do this for her, but I'm down here. Uh, you just didn't want to listen to it anymore, which I don't blame you. For myself. It's not that I'm scared. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So there was a- What are you fucking scared about, dude? This movie. No, I just feel like rambling. There was this movie that we started watching last night, and it's called Six Souls, and- we didn't finish it yet. We only did like half of it. My Sounds dumb. My girlfriend wanted to watch it. and So it's probably some anime. Um, I'm not sure. I think we didn't finish it because it's two hours long. And it was pretty late. And um, my girlfriend wanted to play Rock Band like always. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to give her time to do so. Plus I had to upload some video. And, um, yeah, but we started watching it and it's, yeah, it's pretty good. It's on Netflix. Like you don't have to get it in a DVD. It's just automatically on there. So if you guys wanted to watch it, you can watch it. Oh, so they were streaming by this point. Interesting. Um, <sighs> yeah, so now I'm just rambling. As you do. I feel like I don't talk to you guys enough. And oh my God, girl, please. You talk our fucking ears off, dude. My vlogs. I feel like I just show you random stuff. Oh, that too. That's kind of what my vlogs, my vlogs are about. Me kind of just showing you my day. And today, uh, we woke up to my girlfriend's parents. They got us um, um, three new board games. And I just thought it was really... Jesus Christ. So that's why they played all three. Nice of them. They've been really enjoying board games with us as well. Well, I mean, obviously they enjoy it too, dude. It's not like you're holding them hostage to play these games. I just can't imagine that this is, like, not the life I'd want to live. So, yeah. Random. So now I'm just going to weigh out my carrots. It's probably late at night, James and his wife just want to sleep, and she's there just, like, full-on swinging the cupboards closed. Like, dude. I'm sure many of you don't weigh out your carrots, but I feel like that's a habit. Even though I feel like... Actually, you know what? These carrots are kind of big. See? Where are you guys? <laughs> so I'm just going to give us nine each. Nine? Jesus Christ, dude. You call it a day. So I don't have to dirty. I'd say fucking five. Another paper plate. Dirty another paper plate. You could just wash it off, Amber. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I feel like in these videos where y'all can't see my facial expressions, I need to say like when I roll my eyes 
I'll just say eye roll. <laughs> I'm hoping this like helps so we don't feel so hungry. Plus dinner was kind of hefty compared to. Exactly. So like eye roll. Why do you need to fucking have a snack? I mean lunch. Sorry. Lunch. Lunch, girl. Oh my god. I roll. She <laughs> was kind of hefty compared to normal. One, two, three, four, five, six. And yet here you are still eating the same amount of food that you would. Seven, eight, nine. Nine seems like a lot. Yeah, no Maybe shit. Eight. I don't know. But, um, She's so dumb. Yeah, I showed you guys what I had from lunch, which was pasta and a salad. It was one of my girlfriend's mom's recipe that she found online that was supposed to be low calorie, but. She should have used like spaghetti squash or something for the uh, pasta instead of all that noodles. It doesn't really matter if it was angel hair or not. You don't need the carbs. We all know that pasta has some major calorie up in there, but that's all right. So, so far. Yeah, so she's already shading her, being like, well, it wasn't healthy, it had pasta in it. As if this girl doesn't go on fucking binging pasta during her healthy diet days. Shut up, Amber. She will f find any fucking excuse to not like her girlfriend's mom. Just have tangerines, which is right here. One tangerine, eight little carrots. I don't know how she can just be sitting there gnawing on eight fucking carrots, dude. Jesus Christ. I'd have four and be like, I eat if that, honestly. <laughs> I don't think my girlfriend's having celery, actually, so. You're going to have celery, too, dude? Why do you need this much food? I don't even care that it's vegetables now. Like, she should just be having this for a dinner. Like, fuck all the rest. I'm just going to wash up some celery. Put it on my plate. Of course you are. Like that, and then we'll have our dinner. No cottage cheese and mustard. In a little bit. So, yeah, I just feel like talking to you guys. <laughs> this is so stupid. What are you doing? Hello, kitty and Ringo kitty. I feel like I'm huh? That is cute, I'm not gonna lie. Just the cat, not Amber. Y'all are gonna be laughing, cause in the beginning I said this might be a shorter one, and here we are over 40 fucking minutes later. <laughs> I always do that to myself. I always say, okay, guys, this one's probably going to be a shorter one, so I apologize in advance. And then it's just as long. <laughs> oh, that's got to be so stinky under there. Yeah. Although, I mean, cats like that seafood smell, I guess, so. <laughs> Ew. So, I think I'm done with my vlog for oh, fucking please. today. It's pretty long, so this clip is just me ending it. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for being there for me and sticking up for me and oh she's got warriors in the comments that are sticking up for her how nice um yeah so i just kind of wanted to say that because i'm having another issue with that one person oh who likes to leave very rude comments on my rude to you girl because you can't take a fucking like criticism page and this person will not stop and well you can block them if you knew how <laughs> um i 
honestly, I just can't understand how somebody can sit there and be rude. It's I don't know. You do it every fucking day, dude. You still do. Confusing. It's confusing. Yeah, what confuses me is how much of a cunt you are to the people that literally took you off of the fucking street, dude. Oh my god. And it's, it used to like hurt my feelings, but it doesn't even hurt my feelings anymore. It, well, clearly it does. It's just, it's, it's confusing that there are people out in this world that we all live on that actually like <clears throat> to cause other people pain. Like you? Literally, oh my god, I roll. <laughs> Girl, you're so fucking dumb. Oh my god, I don't even have the energy to fucking tear this apart. I really don't. I really don't. Y'all can imagine what I would say. <laughs> no, that sounds so bitchy. It's just like, uh, would someone, someone who has a proven history of causing physical and emotional pain to all of their exes, like, uh, it's just real fucking rich coming from Amber Lynn. I just don't I don't know how these women don't see the fucking hypocrisy that they lead on with like oh my god I, do, I don't understand it they're no longer causing well no one needs to be your best fucking buddy girl this is not RuPaul's best friend race okay shut up and move on me pain but they're trying to and that's the point that I am just well you're also giving them the reaction that they want. So, like, whatever, dude. Whatever. As dumb as I think it is that you're even having a f fucking say on what this person is commenting. Like, oh, dude. Just ignore it and move on. It's probably valid, whatever they're saying. But just ignore it. The reason she can't ignore it is because it's true. Like, just lost. But... <laughs> I am like 100% grateful for the people who always are leaving me such nice com comments <laughs> and I just appreciate it so much. Yeah, okay, girl. But um this person seems to be living in your mind rent free. Yeah, there's just that one person that's got to go. <laughs> Any well, learn fucking Google how to block someone on YouTube, bitch, and figure it out. Oh my god, I'm already done hearing about it. Please, I'm gonna end this vlog, and I will see you guys tomorrow. And remember, if you're not smiling, smile. Bye. Eye roll. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a fun new little thing for this channel. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I am fucking beat. I am literally laying in bed with you right now, like full laying in bed. <laughs> we are in our bed bound era. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.